No, it's not the same four cops that killed all these people. Right. They don't want to ever tell us who it was. I want to know who it on was. On paid leave for killing our people on paid leave. And they're even holding our autopsy reports that we have a right to. That's Why right. should we have to get a lawyer to get a police report when they're the ones that killed them? Talking about the one that got away. 
Um, so they called them a motherfucker. Yeah, they was cussing, cussing at them while they were on the ground and cussing at them while they're picking them, asking them where to go. When did the police department contact you to tell you that there had been an incident on your side? The police department never contacted me at all. Say that for me one more time. So when did the police contact you about your son? They never contacted me. The Wichita Police Department never contacted me at all. So you were contacted by family members? Yes, I was woke up to a phone call at 6, starting at 6 in the morning, all the way up to maybe 9. Everybody wondering where Tim is. Is Tim okay? And I'm still not knowing what's going on because nobody's contacted me or told me anything. So um, I had to get up and be the investigator that morning at April 13th. At 6 in the morning, I was the investigator. I went, I called the police department. They told me that I might need to watch the news. So I, the police, someone at the police department told you that you would need to watch the news to get yes. information about your son? Yes. And then I kind of went off on the police department. I told them that that might be my son, that one of the boys might be my son. And then they played the little pity pad game, and then they gave me, eventually ended up giving me a number to a detective who never answered his phone whatsoever. Never called my number back, never did anything. Is there anything else you want to tell the world? I would like to tell the world that if you can't depend on the people that's here to protect and serve you, who do you depend on? Why would you call somebody that you're scared to call, not knowing if you're going to live or not when you call them? Who wants to live their life like that? And justice needs to be served.
story is like we hear our story all over again because it happened like pretty much the same way. Yeah, it's definite. There's a past. And we still have got no answers from anyone. Okay, I'm here with Shantae Day, who is the daughter of Karen Jackson. We're outside City Hall. Why are you here today? I'm here because the police shot my mama several times. She shot her four, they, they say she got shot three times, but when I seen her at Jackson's funeral home, she actually got shot four times. Um, they gunned my mama down for apparently no reason to me. They could have did other things besides shoot to kill. Have they given you, have the police given you any information no, they have not. They have not even contacted anyone in our family. They didn't even contact to let us know that she was deceased. When I asked the police when I got on the scene, was she okay? They told me that they couldn't tell me anything. They couldn't tell me anything, but by 11.30 on the internet, there was they had more information than what I had. I had no information about what happened to my mother. People was calling me, telling me what happened to my mother off of the internet, and I don't believe that that's right. Was your mother a violent person? No, she was not. She was the sweetest person in the world. You can ask her anything. She would help you out. She will do anything. She wouldn't even harm a fly. I mean, she was not harmless to anybody. A lot of your friends refer to her as Mama Karen. Yes. Because she, she helped mother, raise. She said everybody. She loved everybody. Anybody she would accept and loved them like they were her own. Is there anything else you want to tell us? I just want to say what they did was wrong. It's for you to shoot to kill. outside of City Hall with Rendell Smart, who is the father of Marquez Smart, who was gunned down by police officers in Old Town. Can you tell me why you're here today, sir? Well, I'm here to let my story be heard, because it's, it's not justified, and I want to hear the truth. Can I have you speak up just a little? I'm sorry. I'm here to tell my story about my son and the information that I received, which is very little. And, uh, you know, they call it justified. I can't call it justified. And not even to investigate in the case. You know. And son, the officers in this case, it's well known that the officers fired several shots, but they haven't released any ballistics reports or autopsy reports to show who was shot by who. Is that have they given you any information to tell you who was shot by whom in this situation? No, they haven't given me any information. As well as they have not tried to contact me one time set up an appointment to meet with District Attorney uh, Parker, Kelly Parks or something Kim like Parker. that, Karen Parker, Kim, Kim Park, excuse me, and uh, they haven't returned my calls. Uh, I've been doing all the investigating. I had to make the initiative to contact the detective to see what's going on with my son, how the night it happened, March the 10th. I received a call about 10 minutes till 2 o'clock in the morning, Friday night. And uh, I was told my son was, had got shot down in Old Town. But before I got the phone call, I, I had my police scanner on. I listened to it every night. And I was sitting outside listening to it about quarter till. And I am hearing a lot of commotion down in Old Town, talking about shootings and block this street and block that street. So I'm listening, I'm listening. I know my son frequents down the club. So I'm <coughs> said to myself, well, I hope my son is not involved in any I sat out there. They, they said how many people got shot and what uh, had died. They said that and I'm listening. It was about seven minutes, 10 minutes before they even called the ambulance. I'm listening to the scanner, sitting outside. I go in the house seven to 12 minutes later still listening to the scanner. My son's mother calls me and, and tells me the information that uh, our son's been shot. So I tell her, I heard it down. I heard it on the scanner. 
She said, well, I'm on my way down to the hospital, St. Francis. She didn't know which hospital it was in. She was going to the closest one by the scene. So I met her down there. I, I got there about 2.20. And we was, went in the hospital. They never let us know if our son was in there. They told us they had multiple victims back there. And they couldn't tell us if one of them was our son or not. But they questioned his mom about his identity, tattoo markings, uh, tall, short, you know, hairstyle, whatnot. Uh, we was there about two and a half hours, three hours before they let us know that our son passed away. One officer in the chaplain called the family and took us into the back room and asked us what was our son's name. We stated his name. And the lady officer said, uh, well, your son was shot multiple times and he didn't make it. Well, of course, we went ballistic. Understand anybody would. My son was only 23 years old. They never said he had a weapon. I have no information. I contacted the, the detectives. They don't return my call. This happened March the 10th. I've been to the coroner's office several times. I've been down to get his evidence. His evidence is not there. It is here. The detective called me once and said, You can go pick it up. I go down there. All of his stuff is not there. True enough, they may have some of his belongings. And, that they need for the case. Um, but still, they're not contacting me. They haven't contacted his mom, haven't contacted me. One phone call. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, the truth. Just to leave the police story of what happened to your son? Not at the least. So it doesn't sound like something your son no, would have been involved in? My son worked hard. He was a preppy kind of guy. There's a lot of haters out there. I don't know if everybody know what a hater is, but it's someone who dislikes, puts down another human being. You know, like they do to minorities all our lives, Mexicans, blacks. When is it ever going to stop? You know, Nola needs to go, Norman needs to go. It's not justified because the officer did it. Let me go down here. I have no felonies. Let me go down here and apply for the police force. I know a lot of wrongdoing out here, but would it be justified because I'm on a police force to kill and shoot someone or to do them wrong, disrespect them as a human being? We all live under God. You know, and for them not to, to respond to us, had it been one of their children, wouldn't be this far like this. It would have never even happened. Officers, I went down there about two months after it happened, just looking at the night scene and taking pictures of the night scene and the cameras around. Officers, now I'm not a kid. I have grandkids. I'm almost half a hundred. Do I look like I would be down there messing around, causing conflict? I'm down there trying to ask questions, doing an investigation myself. People I know, people I haven't seen in a while, I see down there. Officers come and run with me and my son's mother and friends and family away. So they get the number from a lady that brings them down there. She has some information. So the, inter the police officers interfere with your investigation as a private citizen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And another thing, I want to make sure you get this out. So the officer told you that he wished he had been the one who shot your son? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is my witness. Is there anything else you want to say to the world? The world would be a better place if it was true justification and truth and we have the right people 
in the offices. They get hired to do the right job, do your job. I would have a problem with coming down here. I'm not a felon, never been in trouble. Decided to take driving ticket or something like that. I bet you I couldn't get a job down here. That's not right. But I just want to let the people know. And my grandkids and my smaller kids, now they are scared of, of uh, law enforcement. Anything to do with law enforcement. Simple fact, they watch. They watch their, their cousins, brothers, sisters, aunties get shot down. situation where they know somebody in the family needs help or somebody in the neighborhood or a friend's mother, or father, grandparent needs help, they might call them 911 and they get shot and killed. The one who they're calling for to protect. So see now my grandkids and my younger kids are nervous about going anywhere. Don't don't like the police department. They have killed too many in my family. My son Mark West Mark. Three times running away. They asked me, the detective, I talked to him one time, he asked me, Do I know if my son had a gun? I told him, That's your job. I'm not a detective. You have to let me know if my son had a gun. They haven't let me know anything. Have you ever seen your son with a gun? Never.